across the UP. We did manage, though, to get some breaks of sunshine, and the sun came out for a few minutes here and there, and it did feel nice. On our local three radar network, though, we continue with some spots of spotty precipitation, and as you can see, some snow is showing up on the radar, but it's not reaching the ground in some spots. And as we put on the radar and satellite, you can see that as I'll back it up here one frame, you can see we still have cloud cover moving on through. There's your spotty precipitation. Now let's go flying back out towards the south and west because I got to take you out here to show you our next storm system. Here's us here in upper Michigan back to the south and west. You can see rain across Arizona, Four Corners region of Utah, Colorado, New Mexico and Arizona. This is going to start heading our way. This is our next storm system, but it's doesn't have much cold air to work with. So by the time it gets up to our neck of the woods with little or no cold air to work with at the start, it's going to come down in the form of rain starting Wednesday night. So here's what's ahead. Wet weather on Wednesday night, and it's going to continue on into Thursday morning. But as colder air, not an Arctic blast coming in here, but as colder air comes in here, the rain is going to switch over to snow from west to east across the UP on Thursday. Friday's a chillier day as temperatures do turn a little bit colder on Thursday night, but then temperatures slowly rebound as we get to the weekend and early next week. Current temperatures are in the 30s. We have 38 for downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, 37 at Sawyer. We have 36 for Escanaba and a pair of 38s for Newberry and also Manistique. And as we look at our local three future cast, this is our in-house computer model, clouds and precipitation. I also put the temperatures on here. Temperatures are not going far tonight. We're going to have low temperatures around 30 or into the 30s. And then tomorrow we'll have high temperatures in the 30s. Wouldn't be surprised to see some spots jump into the 40s. As we go into tonight and through tomorrow, we'll continue to have some spotty precipitation in the form of either some light rain or some light snow. But here comes the widespread rain as we go into Wednesday night. And as you can see, it's rain. Temperatures are a few degrees above freezing, so that's definitely going to support rain. But as you can see on the left hand corner of your TV screen out to the west, we do have that rain switching over to snow, and that's going to be the trend as we go into Thursday afternoon as somewhat colder air begins to move on in. That's going to switch the rain over to snow and then we're looking at chillier temperatures for Thursday night on into Friday. Going to put our in-house computer model into model into motion here with our snowfall forecast and you can see some snowfall accumulation west of Marquette, especially in the higher terrain where we could have some shovelable snow. Mind you, this is going to be a wetter type of snow, so be careful out there if you do have to clear the snow in the west on Thursday night. And if you do have health issues or back issues or heart issues, best bet is to seek some help to clear the snow. Thursday night into early Friday morning. But I tell you what, you might as well just let the snow melt because even though, yes, it's going to be chillier on Friday, milder air is coming back for Saturday and also Sunday. And I tell you what, after we get the snow showers out of here on Friday morning, it does look like we'll get some sunshine back here on Friday. Dry weather for now this weekend could be some spotty precipitation chances. And then there's your milder temperatures as we go into early next week. You can always get your latest.